Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Arabic Weekly Assessment Feedback. I am Modaris Sulaiman Ali. Happy listening. So, how do you translate? Don't go Zainab to Arabic. Don't go Zainab. So, how do you translate it to Arabic? So, how do you fill in the gap? La, dash, ya Zainab. The verb we are going to use to fill in the gap must start with ta'un. And the verb must represent a single female person that is being commanded not to go. And ya'un must be attached to the last letter of the verb. The verb must start with ta'un. The verb can be used to represent a single female person being commanded not to go. And the verb must have attachment of yaun to its last letter. Okay? Let's start picking them one after the other. A. Is the habi. Is the habi is not the right answer. We cannot say la is the habi ya Zainab. La, we can't. That is wrong. Is the habi can only be used to talk to a single female person to go. Just like you saying, if the habi ya Zainab, is the habi go, ya Zainab, Zainab. B. Yazhab. Can we say la Yazhab ya Zainab? No. Yazhab can only be used to command a single male person to go. As a third person, not as a second person. To command a single male person to go as a third person. A third person is the person that you are talking about, but not talking to them directly. C. Tazhabi. That is the right answer. It starts with Ta'un. And Ya'un has been attached to the last letter. So La Tazhabi. Don't go. Tazhabi. La Tazhabi can be used to talk to a single female person not to go. Then D. Zahabti. That means you have gone a talking to a single female person. Can we say La Zahabti Ya Zainab? No. It is tantamount to error. Zahabti means you have gone. One may say in Arabic, Aina Zahabti ya Zainab, Aina Zahabti. Where did you go? Ya Zainab, Zainab. So the right answer is C, option C. La Zahabi ya Zainab. La Allah fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Ma as-salama. وإلى اللقاء آخر